Hey everyone, it's Amy Kathleen. Good morning. Um, I, along with my fellow Sunnies, which is Candace, who's Manic Makeup Mama, Miss Kelly, and Let's Talk About It with Jamie Johnson, are um, answering your questions, our Ask the Sunnies collab that we're doing. So I have my questions right here on my crazy messed up phone, and it's all cracked, y'all. And um, I'm going to go ahead and answer them for you. I take a little drink of my cold brew. I really need it this morning. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> what do sunnies mean? Is that like Girl Scout cookies? La, I laugh out loud. <laughs> That's from Robin's Journey. No, it doesn't mean Girl Scout cookies. That's funny. Um, it is just a uh, group of women here on YouTube um, who encourage and support each other. Uh, the Sunshine subscribers. Um, oh, let's see what else. What's your favorite music group? That's from Kim Ray. Kim Ray. Oh, I have so many music, music, music uh, favorites. I really like music. Um, I have very eclectic tastes. I live in Music City in Nashville, so there's all kinds of amazing music here. Um, right now, I really like Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Um, a lot of these probably not many people will um know I'm kind of a weirdo sometimes when it comes to, to music I like Rainbow Kitten Surprise lately <coughs> excuse me I like LP oh love her um I like uh there's a lot of older music like I like Dolly Parton all the Loretta Lynn all the OG country music queens um I like all kinds of funky dance, you know, 70s kind of music, um, like George Clinton <laughs> and Parliament, um, 80s. I was an 80s baby, so I like all kinds of alternative 80s type of music. Um, the Cure, Depeche Mode, I know Kim and I have spoken about this before. I think we have similar tastes in music. Um... There's all kind I like a new band. Well, new to me. They're not that new. Greta Van Fleet, which is like a Led Zeppelin. They're awesome. Go check them out. Um, there's just a bunch. So, that's Goji Berry. He's crying. Um, I'm going to go probably right now with Rainbow Kitten Surprise as my favorite. Oh, Father John Misty. I like Father John Misty, too. I like a lot of music, y'all have one from Delightful Dawn says, who is your favorite Sunny? Ha ha ha. Uh, laugh out loud if you can't answer. <laughs> They're all my favorites. And she wants to know who's the leader of the Sunnies. I don't think we have a leader. We all, you know, excel at different things. We all collaborate together and have um, this input. You know, it's a even Stephen Fleddy playing field. Sorry, I can't talk this morning. Um, let's see. Doo, doo, doo. What made you come to YouTube? Are you all sisters? Um, I came to YouTube. We are not sisters. Um, but actual sisters, blood sisters, I guess, but I've come to be really, really close to them and think of them as sisters. My actual sister, however, is on YouTube. Um, her name is Emily, and um, I'll link her channel below. I know my, a majority of y'all probably know her. Um, and we came to YouTube because my sister Emily and I love watching YouTube videos. That was like all we did. And we would go back and forth and send each other um, things, you know, new um, people we had discovered. And... Um, we had been talking about, you know, just doing this. And uh, one day she sent me a video and it was her. <laughs> and she had just decided to to do it. And um, that was probably in January or February. And since she did it, I said, you know what? I'm going to do this too. So I made my first video and I sent it to her. And we've been doing it for, um since then so I started at the beginning of this year I think it was February and she did too so um, I just wanted to share my fun things or things that I think 
is fun um, with others um, and get to connect to people. Um, I wanted to talk about lipstick and mukbangs, makeup and mukbangs. Um, and that's what I wanted to do. So that's why I came to YouTube. There's another question from Robin's Journey. How old are you? I am 47. Oh my goodness. Let's not talk about that. Almost 50, y'all. Three years away from 50. If you were a bird, what bird would you be? Hmm, I love this question. I would be a red bird, a cardinal. Do you drink or smoke? I don't smoke. Um, I do drink, um, you know, within moderation on occasion. Do you like to dance? I love to dance. I'm not the best dancer, but I love, love, love to dance. I dance a lot um, in my preschool class um, with my preschoolers. We have um, dance party Fridays a lot. Do you like to sing? I do like to sing. I also sing um, with my preschoolers and all day long, um, just to myself as I'm putting on my lipstick or eating and then something makes me happy or you know, singing to the cats, so I'm always singing. What would be your fast food hot spot? My fast food hot spot. I like you know, like McDonald's french fries. Oh, like if I had a fast food, if I had a fast food place, restaurant, it was be named Amy is Awesome, come eat a french fry. <laughs> okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. and this is from Primp Your Life, who I just love. Y'all need to go check her out. She loves lipstick almost as much as I do. It says, from one lipstick addict to another, laugh out loud, what are some of your favorites? Oh, I have so many favorites. I'm thinking about doing a video on that. Um, so off the top of my head, I, I love ColourPop. ColourPop, pop, pop, ColourPop. Color pop, 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 color pop, pop. That's what's on my lips right now. It's called What If. Um, I also like this Wet n Wild. Um, what is it called? Wet n Wild. Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. It is a dollar and it is amazing. Anytime you find that at Walgreens or Dollar Tree, if you love a um, bright lip, pick that up. Um, it looks similar to Max Show Orchid. Um, I love anything from drugstore, drugstore dollar lipstick to, um, you know, YSL. Like I have two YSL um, $32 bougie lipsticks. So I'm thinking about putting a video um, out about my favorite lipsticks. So those are a couple. Oh, I'm really liking the Laura Geller, um, all those blur lipsticks, I love that effect. ColourPop has some really good ones right now. I could talk about lipstick all day long. So, um, Primp Your Life, look out for that. Maybe we'll collab on favorite lipsticks. Wouldn't that be fun? Fun for me. Um, Cindy Boyd has a good question. What age groups are in your class? I have two and three year olds. Um, let's see. And then we have EAPGTV asked, who was the first of the Sunnies to start YouTube? Probably Miss Kelly. I believe she's coming up at two years. Um, and then Jamie, a year anniversary, YouTube anniversary, I believe. Manic started a little bit before me, I think, because I uh, discovered her. Um, right after I started and then me. Um, I could be wrong about that, but, um, and Cindy Boyd asked, do you have any children of your own? No, I don't, sadly. Um, I have awesome nie nieces and nephews. Um, sadly, I don't, but I get to be surrounded by children all day long. Um, and then have fun with them and then send them home to their mamas and daddies. Um, I have cats. I'm a crazy cat lady. Right now we have two cats. <laughs> um, let's see. Michelle's Cozy Home asked, 
what kind of music do you like to listen to? I talked about some of my music. Um, I love all kinds um, earlier. I talked about that. Um, I can listen to everything. I don't really love, sorry if this is, if people do. I think music is personal. You like whatever you like and celebrate that. And I'm not going to judge you on your music. That's what I think. Um, I don't love a lot of new style country. I do like Sturgill Simpson. Um, and that's more Americana. Um, and I like, uh, Margot Price. Um, I like all kinds of music. I, I like mama music, like Captain and Tennille, Yacht Rock, I like alternative, I like rap, hip-hop, um, I like inspirational music, I like all kinds. And then Misty, officially Misty, hey Misty, um, asks, what's your all-time favorite concert and did you go backstage? Oh, I don't know about my all-time. Okay, when I was in high school, I saw Jane's Addiction, which I loved. I saw them twice. That was a fun concert. It was like, it was really fun. Um, slam dancing and stuff. I can't believe I'm so old now. If I slam dance, I would break a hip. Um, I like uh, a recent concert that I saw that was really good was Rainbow Kitten Surprise. <sighs> they put on such a great show, y'all. Um, I've seen them three times within the last year. I'm a little obsessed. And I will see them again if they come. And LP, oh, she's a powerhouse. She puts on um, an amazing show. But Rainbow Kitten Surprise, super, super fun. Um, and I did not go backstage. My husband was in bands in college, so I was like a little groupie and a roadie. Robin's Journey also has a good question called... Are you a flip-flop woman or a sneaky person? Flip-flops. I love some flip-flops. And my sister, hello Emily, Emily's Ideas says, which golden girl are you? That's an awesome question. Hmm. So Emily, which golden girl are you? I think I would be a little bit of Rose. Um, I would let be... Um, Sophia, she's short and sassy, and a little bit of Rue, so, um, or Blanche, her real name was Rue, so, I don't know if that makes sense, I'd be like a combination of those, probably Sophia the most, it depends on what time of day <laughs> it is, and, and Rose, Rose, I think my sister's definitely Rose. Um, let's see. What else, what else, what else? What else? And Candace, you asked an amazing question. What, what has been a defining moment in your life? Oh, she's always there with the deep, deep questions. Um, let's see. There's been a number. I guess when I got married, you know, at 25, um, my husband's my best friend. We've been... Um, a lot together and we're still together we I got married in 1996 that was um that was a long time ago um so that was a pretty big defining moment um I when I decided to uh work with children um become a preschool teacher I think that was also a defining moment um I used to be um well I worked a lot of jobs um I nannied in college um, I waited tables um, and then I studied um, English and design uh, later on um, I studied design and I used to work in the de interior design field um, at a design company not company at a design center um, that was open to the public and um, I really really did like that um, because you can be creative and color and I love like home decor and stuff. My sister really loves it too. She's very good at it. And so is my mom. I think we uh, get a lot of that from my mother. But um, I did enjoy it, but sometimes dealing with adults <laughs> wasn't the best. So um, I decided to become a preschool teacher and um, I'm able to be like very, very creative 
in the in that respect in so many ways and you know kids are fun so probably those two I'm sure there's pretty maybe more hmm all right um, my sister again asked if I were an animal what would I be I would be a cat a kitty cat yes yes I would be a kitty cat um, Lois Lois from Unbox Lois's Unboxing and Gardening asks, sorry if you can hear my husband, he's trying to get the cat in. <clears throat> Betty, it's, it's uh, breakfast time for Betty. <clears throat> Amy said, no, Lois said, Amy, do you garden? Yes, I do. I love to garden. I, I love, love, love gardening. Springtime is one of my favorite seasons because um, the flowers are starting to bloom and I can get outside and get in the dirt. Um, Primp Your Life says, do you like to travel? Where are your favorite places to visit? Um, I love, I like to travel. Sometimes getting there, I don't like it. Like road trip or airplane or whatever. But once I'm there, I love it. I love New Orleans. Love New Orleans. We go, we try to go um, every, you know, couple years. Um, so love New Orleans. I would move there in a minute. Um, I've been to Hawaii. Hawaii was fabulous. Um, let's see. Of course, fabulous. It's, it's Hawaii. Excuse me. I've got the hiccups now. I love Asheville, North Carolina. I love the mountains. That's where my husband and I honeymooned. And I love the beach. Beach, beach, beach. Um, we go to the beach every year, a couple times a year. It's one of my favorite things. One of my favorite places is in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. Toes in the sand. I love the beach so much. It just really restores my soul. Um, and Kathy, my friend Kathy from my DIY says, did you drink a beauty potion or something? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Thank you though, that's sweet. <laughs> um, she asked, please tell us something we don't know about you. Something you've not shared on YouTube yet. Hmm. You have something you don't know about me. I'm sure there's a lot. <laughs> I have my secrets. What, what, what? I am going to do some, an unpop, I'm planning on doing an unpopular opinions video, so you'll find some stuff out, um, with that video. Um, let me think if I can think of anything off the top of my head. I need a little fuel. Just wait for my unpopular opinions video. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, and I do like, um, this is weird. So what's in here? Um, and I'll share this. That's someone no, nothing, nobody knows. Um, every morning, I love cold brew. And this is so weird. Y'all are going to say, ew, gross. But it's tasty. Um, cold brew and, brew and um, Coca-Cola. Oh, it's so good. Cold brew and Diet Coke gets me through the day. So it's a mixture of that. Don't knock it till you try it. Um, there used to be a uh, Coke. That was called Coke Black, and it had coffee in it. Coffee Coke's a real thing, y'all. Um, oh, it was so delicious. They don't make it anymore, so I make my own. So that's what I'm sharing right now, and look out for that unpopular opinion <clears throat> video. Um, Bobby M. is asking, what's your favorite TV show? Oh, I love TV. We do Netflix a lot. Um, I love American Horror Story. Um, right now we're watching Preacher. Um, I like, um, like funny TV shows like Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Um, oh goodness, what's that Canadian movie that's so funny? Um, Shits Creek? Shits. Sheets. Shits. I'm not saying the bad word. That's the name of the, um, the family. Uh, there's so many funny, funny movies. I watch a lot of YouTube, so, um, and or your favorite movie, I have a lot of favorite movies, too, maybe. I like Fight Club, it's one of my favorite movies. 
Um, I like American Psycho. That's one of my favorite movies. Bridesmaid is, is hilarious. Um, I love Terms of Endearment. Terms of Endearment. But it always makes me cry. So if I need a good cry, um, I watch Terms of Endearment. Um, the new Lady Gaga. It's not new. Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. That movie's so good, y'all. Oh, it's going to come back to me. That was a good movie. Um, what's your all-time favorite movie? That was my sister asking again. Um, those are all my questions. I can't believe that I can't think of that movie. It's going to drive me bananas, so I'm going to Google it right now. Technology. Technology. Um, I'm just going to put in Lady Gaga. Ah, a star is born. A star is born. That's it. I knew that. So that's a recent favorite. Um, this is it. That's the end of my questions. I appreciate y'all um, asking them. Go check out my other Sunny's questions. I'll link their channels all down below. Hope everyone has a wonderful, look at my hair, it's crazy daisy, a wonderful um, week, rest of the week. It's almost Friday. Yay, yay. I'm so happy. I'm ready for Friday. And um, that's it. Um, appreciate you watching, asking the questions. Um, this was fun. Hopefully you got to um, know a little bit more about you, me, me, learn a little bit more about me. And I want everyone to have a great day. I want everyone to be kind to each other and spread a little sunshine. And that's it. Um, also, like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> um, that would really help me out. And, and um, you know, comment um, down below what you think of some of my answers. <laughs> um, okay, that's it. Take care. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Boo!